Hey everybody, it's the Home Dad. Today I'm going to be making a creamy mushroom soup for my wife. She wants uh, grilled cheeses tonight, and I figured this would go really good with grilled cheese, so she loves mushrooms. What we have here is uh, we melted uh, two tablespoons of butter, and to that butter we're going to add one whole diced onion. It's a larger onion. I'm going to get that saute in. And we're going to saute these until they're translucent. And along with that, we have about a pound and a half of drained mushrooms. So we're going to saute these all together in the butter, like so. And I'll bring you back whenever they're translucent and have some color on them. And we'll go to the next step. Alright everybody, we're back. My mushrooms and onions are getting there pretty translucent now. What we're going to do here is add some seasonings. This is to taste, so we're just going to do a couple pinches of salt, along with black pepper. So this is going to be less than a quarter teaspoon, I, I suspect. And then to that, we're going to add in One heaping table, uh, teaspoon of granulated garlic, uh, minced garlic, I apologize. So I'm give this a good stir. Be nice if you guys had smell o vision Stuff smells delicious already. And to that, we're going to add in two more tablespoons of salted butter. There we go. Get that going. Melt it pretty good. And to this, we're going to add in three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. So, we're going to give this a good mix. Give that some time to incorporate and... And then we're going to add in four cups of water. Like so. Give this a good mix. And bring it back up to a simmer. You should really put in some chicken stock or vegetable stock, but I don't have any. So what I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to put in... Since I put four cups of water, I'm going to put, put four chicken bouillon cubes into this mixture. And I'll bring you back after that's complete and after we're back up to a simmer. And I'll show you where we go from there.
Okay everybody, the bouillon has been added. We're back up to a simmer. It's looking good. It's thickening nicely. So we're going to add our last few ingredients here. We're going to put some parsley in. I would say a quarter teaspoon. Like so. And then another quarter teaspoon of thyme. Turn our heat down just a tad. There we go. And then the last ingredient is two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar. That'll be plenty there. I'll give this the cream of mushroom soup some more body to it. We're going to let this simmer for approximately two or three more minutes. And then what we're going to do, we're going to pull out half of this soup into a blender and we're going to blend it. And once we get that stuff blended, I'll bring you back to what we do next. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, we're back. I took out over half the soup and uh, blended it. And our ninja blender over there. It's just a small one. I, I left, you, you need to really do all of the soup. But I left over half, or half of it in there because we like the chunkiness of the mushroom. But here's our soup that's been blended. We're going to put that in there. You need to be very careful when you're doing that blending because that soup is boiling hot. Just like so. And our last little thing we're going to do is we're going to put in half a cup of heavy cream. Just like that. You need to leave this at a low simmer. Or you can pretty much turn it off if you have a warming feature on your oven. You can just put it on the warmer. And this stuff will thicken up even more. If it's not thick enough for your taste, just add a little bit of cornstarch with it and cold water. And mix it in there and thicken it up nicely. But this is creamy mushroom soup. I've already tasted it. It is absolutely delicious and it will be good with our grilled cheese sandwiches tonight for supper. I hope you all enjoyed. It was fun to make. hope you give it a try. God bless.